a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. And they're sharing the ball, too, which I love. They're piling up the assist. We're seeing great offensive movement. On the floor for Oklahoma City yes, getting going here in the second yes. quarter. Anthony Morrow out there with Nick Collison. Then there's... And then there's Stephen Adams. And it's Augustine in at the one. D.J. Augustine playing big minutes for the Bulls last season with Derrick Rose. For, you know, and I'll tell you what, he put up some big numbers at times. 27 points in back-to-back -back games. Cold. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Great defense in the paint there, making it tough on the offense. That's what he brings, a presence. I mean, you saw it on that miss. You know, his finishing ability leaves a lot to be desired because he needs to take it to the basket stronger. Anderson kicks to Allen. Inside, here's Hushik, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, and I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here, because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. And for Augustine, undersized of the point guard position, he has struggled defensively. Yeah, and he has to compensate with his shooting and passing skills when he's hitting shots and finding teammates. He's solid. Three-pointer, Pondexter, and again, oh, New Orleans, Orleans with the triple. Three. The team there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Pass to Waiters. He feeds it to Augustine. Here's Collison. Dishes it to Morrow. Here's Waiters, right side Collison. Falls back and frames the fadeaway jumper. Collison's got six here in this quarter. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Bird. Doris, what do you have? Well, you have to admire Dion Waiters' confidence as he feels he's going to be the next great shooting guard shy to proclaim himself as the next in line. Waiters saying, I really believe that I'll eventually be the best shooting guard in the NBA. This year I'm going to show a lot of people who doubted me and still doubt me. I'm going to show them. Can't wait to watch, guys. Well, Doris, confidence so key in this league. Thanks. Pelicans trail by three. Feeds it to Asha. Augustine with the steal. On up the court. And he gets Dion it to go. Waiters. Six points for Dion Waiters. That's pretty Dion. much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. Here's the screen. Allen kicks to Cole. Just five to shoot. The feed to Bondexter. And he drops in the way up on the ball. Ron Dexter's got five. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall tree. Augustine. Waiters gets a wide open look. Morrow kicks to Augustine. The dish to Waiters. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. That one rolling around and rims out. Coach Scott Brooks of the Thunder, he's brought great stability to this organization. A lot of talent on this roster, but it doesn't always fit offensive flow. So you know, the Thunder like to keep it pretty simple with their X's and O's. And the powerful one-handed slam. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does. Stay with those basics in a tight ball game because we got one here tonight. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. For the Thunder. Well, for Kevin Durant, it was a terrific season. Let's look at his numbers last season. First in scoring, and he was on the top 10 list in free throw percentage, something he really did a nice job of focusing and the concentration to knock down free throws. And Steve, as you mentioned, I mean, he set the standard offensively with more points than any other player in the league. I mean, a really remarkable season. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. 
Now that we have a chance, let's go to the 2K leaderboard and reveal last season's top shot blockers. Anthony Davis, number one. Serge Ibaka is second. Well, their defense down on the block is so good. Both of them just seem to anchor their team's D. And wow, what a weapon to have. 143 left in the first half. Outside Gordon. Back to Holiday. Davis up top. Outside Holiday. Here's Agensa. Another one falls for New Orleans. And their offense is really cranked up in the second quarter. Yeah, they've got it going now. Above 60% shooting for the night, and it's going to be tough to beat them when they shoot it like that. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Steve Kevin Durant, truly one of the best scorers, and the statistics would show that league-wide every year, and, and last season's MVP. Well, he's improved his game in pretty much every category, whether it's rebounding, ball handling, passing, uh, defense. Incredible to see a player who was already historically great just take his game to another level. Holiday, the pass to Evans. The kick out to Holiday. Now the pass to Agensa. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his third rebound tonight. And with Kevin Durant, his goal is to become the greatest player in NBA history. Nothing less. That's what he's striving for. He sees that potential in himself, believes it is there. I think that motivates him. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two for one. Yeah, that's the smart move there. That's how you want to end the quarter, but make sure you get a good solid possession here. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. The shot's good from Evans. And the Pelicans lead by three. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. Westbrook with the bucket. Boy, he's so hard to stop, guys, because he poses a ton of matchup problems for the defense. Evans attacking. Gets to the rim for two. Oh, with the yeah, 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 yeah. Evans has got six. Here's Roberson. Outside Durant, near the three-point line, it's Westbrook, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target, and the first half ends in a close one. Ahead, they're up by two, and now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Thank you, Kevin. I'm here with Scott Brooks, and Coach, how would you assess how this first half has played out? Well, we're doing a great job of... Um taking the pain away, and they started hitting threes. But the first part of it, we gave too many easy layups. We got to keep the pain out and close out better on the threes. Coach, thank you so much. Guys, he's always looking for more. Thank you, Doris, and we'll be back.